Let's go over some basics that are good to know for web development. Let's start with the Internet. The Internet is a global network of computers that can talk to each other. They use the same rules or protocols so that they can all communicate. The Internet Protocol is called TCP IP. It stands for Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol. The World Wide Web is a whole lot of resources like documents and applications on the Internet. These documents can be linked together with hypertext links that when they're clicked can take you to other documents and applications. The protocol used on the web is called HTTP. It stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. When a web user opens up a website or web application, a request is made to the web server that holds the files that make up the, the um, site or the application. The user and the browser that they use, like Chrome, Edge, or Safari, is also referred to as the client on the front end of the system. The server is the back end of the system. The user might type in a web address, also called a URL or Uniform Resource Locator, or they might click a link or open up a book bookmark. Then the right server will get the request because of this URL or web address. The URL matches up to the IP address of where the website or app files are located on the server. This is done with the DNS or domain name system. This is a system where all web addresses or domain names are matched up with the server or location of the files requested. The server will then send the files that were requested back to the client. Web developers will often use hosting companies that already have servers in place to store their files. Then they might purchase a domain name such as mycompany.com and register that domain name with the IP address of the hosting company's servers where their files are stored. Developers could also use their own web servers if they don't use a hosting service. Different languages or scripts are run on the client front end and the server back end. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are front-end languages. The code actually runs on the client or user's computer. PHP, Java, and Python are examples of back-end languages. The back-end code will run on the server before it even gets to the user. Even though the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are front-end languages, the actual HTML, CSS, and JS files can be stored on the backend server until requested. They just aren't processed or interpreted there. When the request is made, the files are sent to the client, and the browser that's being used will then interpret the code in the files and present the website or application on the browser screen. So the, the device that made the request has to interpret or render the pages um, or the application that's being sent. This is referred to as front-end processing. Things like logging users in or using a database with a website would be examples of back-end processes. That's where the back-end languages would be used. When considering the users of our sites and applications, it's good to keep in mind that many different devices are going to be used to access our web files, like phones, tablets, laptops, desktops, etc. And they're all going to have different connection speeds. Not only do the files like HTML and CSS have to be sent to these devices, but all the images and the videos that go with them. The goal is to make our sites as small and efficient as possible and still look and run well on any device. Also, some users may use screen readers that will help read the site to them. Often these are visually impaired users. Developers must take into account the needs of these users and make sure that their code is written with accessibility in mind. 
So there we have a brief overview of some web development basics.